wants three things. One, declaration of the F effect to the effect that the ongoing strike is a violation of the rights and freedoms of the children's rights to education that is contrary to section uh, 53 of the Constitution. Uh, the Obura Teacher Service Commission also wants uh, the restriction of Kenya National Union of Teachers Secretary General Wilson Sosion from inciting and calling members of NAT and CUPID to participate in the teacher strike. And the third point on that petition by the Teacher Service Commission is for the court, the Employment and uh, Labor Relations Court, to declare the ongoing strike illegal. The teachers' unions on the other side, uh, through their lawyers, have argued that the strike is legal as it was declared as a result of the Teacher Service Commission failing to pay the 50 to 60 percent pay increment which was awarded to them by the Court of Appeal. And of course, following that uh, case at the Supreme Court, which failed or refused to turn down that particular decision by the Court of Appeal. And on September 4th, an Nairobi court declared the strike as unprotected, meaning that the teachers participating in that particular strike will not, would not be protected from any disciplinary action. And we're now joined live by KTN's Michelle Ngele, who has been following the proceedings at the Employment and Labor Relations Court, Milimani Law Courts here in the capital, Nairobi. Michelle, what do we know so far? Well, been a very heated hearing there at the Labour Courts as the Teachers Service Commission challenges the legality of the ongoing teachers' strike. Now, both parties are claiming rights under the Constitution, and the petition by the Teachers Service Commission is that the ongoing teachers' strike is a violation of the fundamental rights and freedoms of children, as enshrined in Article 43 of the Constitution, which states that everyone has the right to an education. Now, the Commission wants this court to declare the strike illegal and order teachers to go back to work immediately uh, with immediate effect. Now, the Teachers Service Commission maintains that it is, uh, maintain, I, mean, that, I mean, the teachers' unions uh, maintain that they're practicing their constitutional right by going on strike as enshrined in Article 41 of the Constitution, which states that every worker has the right to go on strike. Now, the teachers, uh, the teachers' unions now um, are blaming the Teachers Service Commission of being controlled by the government. This is an independent constitution, but we see that they have refused to honor the 50 to 60 percent salary increment and uh, now they are now saying that if the teacher service commission remains in contempt of court then they will also uh, defy court orders should the court rule that this particular strike is illegal and also uh, stay out of class for as long as it takes now i did speak to nat secretary general wilson Sosion on what would be the way forward if the court ruled that this particular strike is illegal and he says that they will want a draw if the teacher service commission is in contempt of court and this particular court still rules in favor of the Teacher Service Commission, then they too will defy this court and stay out of class. And he says that the teachers even began this strike before the unions called an official strike. The, uh, this, and this shows um, how, how teachers are tired of teaching uh, with minimal pay, and so they will not go back to school until this happens. And uh, he also said that the government, including the president, need to obey the 50 to 60 percent salary increment, and should they uh, fail to do so, this will be a threat to the country's entire workforce and here he is talking about the uh, pending strike by national workers which will be taking place tomorrow they are just waiting for the outcome of today's hearing and tomorrow national workers under the central organization of trade unions and the trade unions congress of kenya will be joining the teachers in solidarity with their strike ben michelle we have had the teachers unions nats and cupid saying that the teacher service commission do not have a case they are indeed just holding on to that uh, the uh, ruling by Nairobi Court on September 4th that the teacher strike is unprotected, meaning that teachers can be, cannot be protected from any uh, disciplinary action. How strong uh, do the legal team for the Teacher Service Commission seem uh, convinced in their uh, arguments? Well, uh, the legal team of the Teachers Service Commission keeps arguing on the basis that this particular strike uh, is going against, violates the fundamental rights of children. And even the judge, Jora Mabuotha, has told them that the issue of uh, violating the rights of children is not the issue before the court today. We are only dealing with the legality of this particular strike. Now, they did uh, talk about, they did talk a lot really uh, about the, the issue of violating uh, the, the, the children's uh, rights under the Constitution. 
but um, we have we, we, we yet to hear from uh, the teachers unions and the side of the teachers unions but uh, the teachers service commission has argued its part but the only argument they have is that this strike was declared unprotected by this very court and uh, by that I mean the, and they, 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 they did uh, define the definition of an, Ill, uh, an illegal strike is a strike that has commenced um, unlawfully and by being unprotected by law then they said then that this strike should be ruled off as illegal but the judge says that they really should not say that this strike is illegal because that is the judge's mandate to say so so all they have to argue uh, is why this particular strike should be declared illegal and not just declare it illegal without giving out the reasons now they have given out several reasons really as to why this particular strike should be uh, deemed illegal but um, and we also note that the attorney general given with guy has been represented at this particular hearing today and he's taking the same stance as the teachers service commission saying that he uh, the, the lawyer says that she the, the, the attorney general wants to uh, protect the rights of the public and so they are taking the same stance as the teachers service commission and the teachers uh, really seem to be on their own on this one Ben. Well when do we expect a ruling when do we expect this impasse to be put to bed? Well, this is an issue of national urgency. Now, we were expecting this court ruling to only, I mean, this court hearing to only take an hour, but it has already been um, about two hours we've only had from one side. Now, we're yet to know if the ruling will be given today because it was supposed to be given today because of the urgency of the matter, but we're yet to hear from the judge as to when he'll be giving this particular ruling.